Hello and welcome to another video from Rambling Geek. Today I thought we'd take a look at uh, a new feature released by Microsoft to set up a remote desktop web client for your users on uh, Windows Server 2016 remote desktop. This will allow your users to go to a website and log in um, via web page, so none of the client business. So we're going to do this install. So that this is what we currently have today, and you can uh, log in. That's the wrong password. Uh, let's try that again with the right password. The Docker UK. Before anyone says anything, it's not wrong. Uh, it's not. It shouldn't be dot local or without or anything. It's because it's the server is joined to Azure AD. That's why it's Docker UK. Don't want to get loads of comments about that. Uh, no, we don't want to save the password. So the current experience is this. Uh, if I if I launch the calculator, which doesn't want to launch. Oh well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Let's try. Uh, let's keep it real and keep on going and try and figure out what's going on. Okay, so um, oh, that's really weird. <laughs> and apparently it didn't want to work in Edge. Uh, okay, so it will launch the default um, Microsoft MSC client. Um, and then we log into the server. And a calculator will appear. Uh, anyone should have seen this, really, or will be familiar with this. So that's the uh, situation. So what we're going to aim for is the, the new implementation of this, where uh, these apps open inside the browser. So let's crack on with configuring this then. Um, to the correct server, not the wrong server. Okay. So it, it's only compatible with Windows 2016. Um, I'm using this article here. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the show notes uh, or the comments below. So yeah, so it's it's fairly straightforward. I have already done this um, on another server um, just to try it out and see what happens. Uh, this update I haven't got. Uh, it does say later updates may already already contains this, this KB. Um, so I've fully updated this server, so it should work. You do need a public certificate, um, which we did see before from the test, um, and it needs Windows 10 client. Uh, it can't be used with web proxy. Or reverse proxy. So if you're using that, you can't have this behind it. If you like, um, it has to be in front. So just a few little caveats to think about. So we're just literally going to run through this um, and see how we get on. See see what actually works and what doesn't. Uh, we'll close that. Give ourselves some room to work. There we go. Okay. So. Let's dive into PowerShell. And let's get cracking. So install. 
module name PowerShell get force. So we need to oh classic amateur hour mistake. How many times do we all, what times do we all do that? Uh, not start PowerShell admin mode. So install module PowerShell get. Okay. Just to be clear, I do all these videos off the cuff. There's no script, and just literally just running with it and see what happens. Uh, hopefully, you like this type of content. If you do, give me a thumbs up in the video, um, or for the video. Uh, if you don't, let me leave, let me comment. Let me know how you want want these videos to be done. Uh, okay, so we're waiting for that to install. So what it's doing now is it's just. Uh, Getting the latest version of the packet management. Uh, the packet management was going to update and give us the ability to go and get the actual add-on uh, to give us the function that we want. Uh, so now we're going to install module again. Name rd web client management. Um, say yes to that. Oh, I've got a character in the way there. Warning the specified amount is not as possible. So did this work? Let's just make sure this works. The login must be available in... So uses update management. You can also install in the provided by running install package. Uh, should we do this just to make sure we get what we want? So we'll let that run. Okay. And then we'll rerun this. Well, oh, you're probably all screaming at me. I didn't read this, did I? Uh, I've got to restart PowerShell for the update to work. Uh, run administrator. Okay. I always like to be in root for some crazy reason. Uh, okay, let's do the install module name rd web client management. So we have him all looking now. RTFM. RTFM. Read the. Oh, bloody hell, this is not going well. There we go. Wow. I made this hard for myself. We got a EULA to, to sign up to, uh, and then the next thing we need to do is install the RD Web Client Package. Okay. Uh, and now we need to import the cert. Uh, which we do need. So I think I left that on my desktop, which I did. And we want the .co.uk one. Yes. Okay. So this should just be a case of 
import web clients and the path will be c users admin desktop wildcard yep that one Okay, let's try and figure that out. Um, just jump to Google here and I'll Google it. Uh, so the specified password. Import. Yeah, I think that's how I got around it last time is if I do this. Certificates install it. Grab that one. Uh, export it. Do not export the private key, which will then not generate a password request. Do that. And then. Docker UK, wasn't it? And we'll put MP on it for no password or non-private, works either way, and then we should be able to do this, and that, and it looks like that might have cracked that little problem for us, uh, and then we need to just run the publish uh, rd web client package production latest okay uh, it does mention about the uh, when running the you may see a warning uh, that says per device cows are not supported even if your deployment is configured for per user cows if your deployment uses per you can ignore which we can as it's only a demo I don't actually know what it's configured for um, but uh, I just thought it, we'd just leave it as it is. It should work. So, hopefully, in theory now, we can go to this URL. Um, what we could do is... We'll use, because it failed before in that, we'll use this. I have no idea why LastPass has started doing that. It's really frustrating. Anyway, um, And there we go. Uh, make sure I put the right password in. So as you can see, this is similar to before, um, but this time, if it works, when we uh, oh, didn't oh, I did the wrong blinking certificate. God damn it! Uh, did I do? Did I export the wrong one? Did I?
trying to use the dot uk one rather than the docker uk one which is really annoying um, okay well i'll explore it again and just make sure Okay, now we're going to be in look. Okay, we'll give it the Docker UK one. A little while back, I started making it a, 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 a rule of mine that whenever I save something out, I've got to give it a, some kind of meaningful name. There's nothing worse than coming to something uh, a little while later and finding out the, the name's not meaningful and you have no idea what you're looking at. Uh, so that should be UK now, yeah. So if I do that... Sign out and sign back in. Wow. My monitor wants to send itself off. I'm going to have to press a button. You can't see that. That's quite hilarious. Uh, okay. Voila. Uh, and there you go. So you end up in this like we did before. Um, but when you open WordPad, it sort of does this Persuado sort of task bar at the top, which is quite funky. So you end up a, and you can switch between your app applications there. So yeah, um, not quite sure why this took Microsoft so long to do. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please click click the thumbs up. If you haven't, click the thumbs down. Um, if you like the channel and what I'm doing, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to know when I'm publishing videos, click the bell. Um, yeah, uh, this video has been a bit rough. Um, do apologize for that, uh, but I was doing it off the cuff. Um, if you like this type of video and like that, or you want it more polished and more edited without the mistakes or errors or things that happen unexpectedly, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time.